Hey everyone, this is Ryan, and in today's video, we'll take a look at changing the authoring version of your Canvas app to an older version or a new version that's about to be released by Microsoft that's currently in preview mode. To see what version your Canvas app is on, um, all you have to do is go to the ellipsis beside your app, go to details, and then you'll see the versions tab. And then when you go to your versions, you'll see the latest one that we have here, version 75, that's published is on version 3.23014. Uh, okay, so that's the latest version that's recommended by Microsoft. Now, if we want to go to a previous or newer version of the um, Power Apps release, what we can do is open up our app and then we can actually change that around under the settings tab in the editor. So let's wait for this to load and then we'll go take a look. Okay, so now that our app has loaded, what we will do is go to settings at the top. We'll take a look at support. And then from here, we'll see the author, authoring version here as well. So this is the current recommended version. And to know what that is, uh, we can click on edit. And you'll see you're currently authoring in version you know, 23014. And Microsoft will always default you to the current recommended authoring version. So if we click the drop down here, you'll see this one is recommended. So even though if you're editing an app with an older authoring version, it will always push you to the recommended version. That's just by default. So you do have the option here. If you click on edit, you can see the, uh, like the Power Apps releases. So I would recommend that you click on this before you proceed to a specific version. Um, this way you can actually see the release notes of any new features being added and what's being fixed. Okay, so you'll see the list here. Now, there may be reasons for going back to an older version of a Power Apps release or even a newer version. So your older version might be to, you know, let's say a new bug has been introduced and you want to release some new functionality in your Canvas app. So you can always go to an older version by selecting uh, one of the previous versions here. Typically there's two or three. And you will also see a version that's currently in preview mode. Um, so it's usually just one uh, of the newer versions. Sometimes there are two. Um, in this case, there's one for 23015. So in our case, what we will do is we'll go to an older version here, 23012. And when you select the older version, you'll have to click reload and apply version. So what this will do is it will save any outstanding changes and then it will close your app, reload it, and it will present it to you in the uh, version that you selected. So now that that's loaded, we can go to settings at the top, support, and you'll see that version that we're currently under. So from here, what I'll do is I'll do a simple change and I will drag and drop, uh, for example, let's say a text label, or I'll just make a change to one of the labels here, just to, uh, so I can save and publish here. Okay, so once that's done, what we will do is click the back arrow. And when you do this, sometimes you'll get like a pop-up screen like this. Like, do you wanna leave the site? What I do is I'll click leave and then just click back on your browser at the top. And then what I'll do here is actually refresh my screen so we can confirm that we're on the older version of the Power Apps uh, release. So if we click the ellipsis, go to details, and then we go to versions. This is where we will see we're on the older version of the Power Apps release. Now, as I mentioned, if you were to go back into this app, even though it's currently on the older version, it will default you to the recommended. So if you need to make changes again, and you wanna be on a previous or newer release of the Power Apps, you will have to you know, go to settings, define which authoring version you wanna be under, and perform those steps again. 